What's up, y'all? This your girl, Coco K, back with another episode at the Black Business Bureau, all right? So, while y'all already, you know, all attentive and stuff, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I know you don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay, all right? So, anyway, you already know how we're going to do it. We're going to jump right into it, okay? So, today is episode two of Each One Teach One, all right? Now, if you live in Middle Georgia... Warner Robins, Perry, Kathleen, Bunair, Byron, Macon, surrounding areas. You already know that on April, what's today? April 10th, 2023, there was a viral sensation, right? And this viral sensation was Mr. Mark Taylor of Speed Edge Sports of Macon. All right, so first of all, just a little background. Mr. Taylor used to be a teacher at Northside Middle and he used to be a track and field coach at Warner Robins High School. So today, some videos had surfaced of him making crazy racial slurs, right? So just check out the video. Nice, look at the nice jacket. Laid out here on the bed for me. Nice, Columbia. Yeah, Columbia, yeah. Yeah, so got the Glock by the bed. Okay, let me go. Room service. Y'all need y'all niggas to bring me some chicken wings, two hoes, a red bone and a white girl. Y'all want the white girl, uh, Rogue gonna try the, the red bone. No, no, Borf ain't coming. Yeah, he was here and everything, he make him leave. He, he make the red bone leave. Yeah, he, no, he don't do that and everything. So I tried that one time at the house. Yeah, just Rogue. Yeah. Okay, he, 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 he probably do it and he probably going, Throw out that we on the 14th floor. He probably throw out the window when he's done with her. Yeah. Cheap rate. Atlanta. Atlanta. Nigger town. Be right there. Yeah. Did you see that tree right there? Roe will hang you from that tree. Staying here at the uh, Omni Hotel. Everybody seeing in. Ain't seen a white person in sight homeless ones on the street every restaurant looking in here is black every car beside them is black they can have Atlanta it, it used to be a fun place to come to up here they can have this place right here and stuff there ain't no way Never know. I mean it kind of make your mouth drop right because I mean, we know people were all, you know, everybody was saying, oh, well, don't act like you didn't know. Uh, don't act like you didn't suspect this X, Y, and Z. And like I told somebody, you can suspect it all day. But when you see the proof, when it's there, it's up and it's stuck, you know. And so um, the church, of course, uh, made a statement saying that they are not affiliated with him. Um, his business address was registered at their address because he used, he rented out, um, their field to do practices. So Mr. Mark Taylor has deactivated his Facebook as I figured what happened. But if you don't realize what this means for us, first of all, I digress. Let me give y'all a round of applause because y'all did real good. Y'all did real good. I love it. Y'all did real good today, okay? Because they have this council culture, but most of this council culture are our people, you know? Not only is it our people, but it's by us a lot of times, okay? We usually initiate it. So I'm glad we used the council culture for something positive today because we showed people that we can stand together for one and the effects of us standing together, okay? I'm pretty sure that his reputation, his what? His reputation <laughs> has been demolished as of today, all right? So a round of applause for y'all for sticking together and getting that message out. Like, don't, don't, don't try to do us like that because this is not the 1800s. This ain't even the 1900s. We in the 2000s, okay? 2023 to be exact. So what kills me is that people still believe like oh well slavery is over oh well that happened so long ago y'all need to get over it no sir because we are in the south i reside in georgia okay and in georgia that 
that culture is still here. You understand these people that grew up here that were raised here. It really slavery and all this like civil rights stuff. It really wasn't that long ago. OK. And to me, the civil rights movement isn't over because you have people saying and doing things like this. Now, Mr. Mark Taylor has made a lot of money off of us. OK. Everybody know that the athletic realm is held up by black people really the economy is held up by black people with our net worth and our skills and our abilities they try to downplay it but really we are the chosen ones okay and i just need people to wake up and i need people to realize that that's exactly what we are it's the reason why they capitalize off of us okay and like i told Miss Brandy Rowland, you know, we were on the search to find Roe because apparently Roe wasn't doing no red bone and he he was going to throw her out the window or he was going to do something. So everybody was on this search for Roe. So we had came across um, this guy with the last name Rowland and, um, you know, Brandy, she reached out to me. And as a human, you know, I have to be empathetic because Brandy in particular didn't do anything to me, right? And I'm one of those people where I definitely believe in equality and I definitely believe in justice, but I also believe in being a human being, okay? So um, I'm not going to intentionally try to harm someone, okay? So Mr. Mark Taylor, it's safe to say that you are safe with me, but your money ain't okay. Your physical well being is safe with me, but your money is not. And that's what I need for us to realize as well. We don't have to harm them physically. You know, we don't have to have them in bondage. We don't have to put them in chains and shackles like they did us, but we going to hit them where it hurts. We're going to hit them where it matters. And that's their pockets. You understand? So I just need for people to take this as a learning lesson, okay? Look what happened when we stood together in our small little community of middle Georgia, okay? We made people make statements, okay? Um, because that's what you're going to have to do. Because they know that their money is really rooted in us. A lot of marketing strategies, they target us. The black community is their targeting audience, okay? So, you know, uh, Brandy had said something along the lines of like she had been up all night dealing with like threats and this and that. Um, because just by association, you know, just by a lie or a rumor that somebody put out that this guy is associated or this family is associated with Mark Taylor. But what I want the Caucasian community to understand or what the lesson that I want them to take from this is how do you think that Emmett Till's family felt when that lady lied about him raping her and he died okay and, and he died they beat him and then they threw him in the river to lake whatever body of water it was and I mean creatures ate him up and his mom had to see that and his family had to see that. And, and, and I mean, Emmett Till, his name will live on forever. It goes down in history. But I want you to know that, trust me, there have there there has been worse. There have been worse situations. There have been worse consequences for innocent people. And now that the shoe is on the other foot, you want us to have the empathy that y'all never had for us. OK, and disclaimer. I'm not saying that all white people are like this. I'm not saying the whole white community is like this, but I'm in Georgia and I know some people that are on my friends list right now. People that I work with look like they one breath away from saying nigga, huh? Okay. All right. So y'all take this as a learning lesson. We are here. We can stand together. Social media is very powerful. It's very powerful. The information gets out in minutes. Okay. I mean, all it takes is one post and one person to repost and that person to repost and it's up and it's stuck because it's going to be a snowball effect. These people, the, it's going to magnify exponentially. Okay. So 
my message to the white community, especially in middle Georgia, especially the people that were associated with Mr. Mark Taylor and they felt that backlash by us. Okay. I want y'all to understand that we are not free. Okay. This is not freedom. And this is not equality, okay? But we're here and we're gonna fight for it and we're gonna stand for it. And I understand some people, you know, they kind of wanna stay in between. You know, they'll talk about it on the phone, they'll text their friend about it, but they won't make a public statement because it might hurt their pockets. I won't say that they're bought out, I won't say that they sold out, but hey, if the shoe fit, wear it, okay? Because um, this is your community. Yeah, this is your community and instead of being behind your community, you choose to stay silent for some money, you know, and this all comes back to why we have to keep our money within our community. We have to build systems that rely on us. OK, we are the consumers and we are the producers because then you don't have to be scared about standing up for yourself, okay? So I used the word scared in a previous conversation earlier today and um, he was like, well, I wouldn't say scared. I would say scared. I would definitely say scared. You're scared, you're worried, and you're concerned. That's why you can't speak up for your people. It was dead wrong, you know? And people were like, oh, well, it's the fake rage for me. First of all, cut it out. Cut it out. Just stand, stand with your people because it's not fake rage. People may have suspected that this man was racist, you know, not only racist, but he has a criminal history. OK, on his criminal record, it reflects that he was convicted of three charges of aggravated assault against his ex fiance for stalking. He has harassment charges. He has domestic violence charges and. He also have uh, charges for intimidating a witness. Okay, but we're the savages. <laughs> that's that's the gag for me. We're the savages. We're the criminals. No, we just have dark skin. We were just the original people that y'all really tried to knock off of their throne, you know, or our throne for that matter. Um, and it really gets to me that we don't, understand this concept in depth you know we know it we talk it we preach it we you know do the daily affirmations and all this stuff but if you're not standing for something then you're gonna fall for anything i mean i just i don't know what else to tell you um i mean it's really a disgrace and not only cancel mark taylor but we need to cancel the affiliations. You know what I'm saying? Like people are making statements. Oh, I'm not associated with him. Yeah, that's nice, but it's a little bit too close for comfort. So we're just going to go ahead and cancel you as well. Okay. And, um, I wish that y'all could have seen his page. I wish I would have at least screen recorded his page because he had like so many Bible verses, you know, Oh, he's such a Christian. Um, and I'm not going to get into Christianity in this episode, but in this moment, I want to ask you what makes someone like that who considers themselves a Christian, Christian, just because they post a Bible verse. OK, just because they preach whatever they preach on their Facebook page. But this is what's in your heart. OK, and that's why I don't I don't judge people by how many times you go to church. I don't judge people by if you go to church or if you don't go to church, first of all. I don't judge people by their religion, okay? And not even the color of their skin because it's what's in your heart. It's your character, okay? And Mark Taylor's character is clearly flawed. It's clearly trash, okay? Um, I mean... What else do people have to do to show you, like, you got to stand together? What else needs to be said? What else needs to be done? What else needs to happen for people to realize that we are definitely stronger as a community, okay? And with that being said, I want to talk about the conversation of when you try to, when we try to stand together, oh, it's segregation. Oh, you trying to keep us apart. Oh, you're just 
further dividing us. No, we're not. Just because we support ourselves, now we're dividing. So, so I mean, just because we're not saying, hey, you got to sit at the back of the bus, or just because we're not saying, hey, um, you can't drink our water fountain. You can't eat at our restaurants, okay? Just because we're not saying that, that doesn't mean that we are looking for division. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not saying that, okay? Take a look at y'all history okay and i mean you can't try they always try to point the finger okay try to point the finger back like oh well you're racist because you have a platform for colored people you have a platform that is for the advancement and prosperity of black people oh you racist you're trying to divide us no actually i'm trying to bring us together okay because We've been up other people behind so long that we kind of forget about our own kind. You know what I'm saying? We kind of forget about that unity that Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Farrakhan and, and, and all these people wanted for us. OK, so if everybody else can look out for their own people, why is it called division, separation and segregation when we try to do it for ourselves? You know, like I'm just I'm so sick of the false narratives. It's nothing wrong with sticking together as a community. It's nothing wrong with not being a crab in a bucket. It's nothing wrong with getting away from the slave mentality. It's nothing wrong with supporting your local small business, your local small black owned business to be exact. What's up y'all? This your girl Coco K at the Black Business Bureau and today I just want to highlight our business of the week Talk To Me Nice Studios located at 3421 US Highway 41 in Byron, Georgia zip code 31093 suite 2600B. Alright, Mr. Lawrence Ray is the producer of most of my videos at this studio and he is now offering photography as well okay so if you need those headshots if you need those maternity shots if you just need some new family portraits make sure you hit up talk to me nice studios this guy's doing great things for the community if you've been on the scene in middle georgia you've probably seen him on the scene so make sure that you support okay and just know that support can be free like share follow his page on facebook make sure you subscribe to his youtube channel and just make sure you check out talk to me nice studios and so for those who let these comments brainwash them even more than we've already been brainwashed, I say, don't do it. I say, go for it. I say, support your community. I say, do something that is going to benefit your kid and your grandchild and your grandchild's child, okay? If we build this community now, and we're as close knit as ever, then I feel like they're not, they ain't gonna be able to do nothing with us. And they know that. And they know that. That's why they keep this narrative of, oh my God, you're for division. Oh my God, you're trying to separate us even more. We need to be brought together. The thing that we need to be brought together on is living in peace, okay? Living in peace, no violence, no hate. But it's actually nothing wrong with supporting your own people it's absolutely nothing wrong with building your own economy a strong economy where you're not scared to speak your mind where you are not scared to speak on how you feel about somebody else being racist okay luckily my money in my own pocket my money ain't, ain't don't come from no i'm not scared of nobody that write my checks okay you you gonna you just gonna have to see about me because I believe in us. Like I say, if don't nobody believe in us, I believe in us. And you know, I feel like I'm an activist. You feel me? Like I feel like I am truly an activist. And I sometimes when I think and when I see like certain things that happen to us and certain things that people say, it literally brings me to tears. And I be like, dang, why am I so emotional? Really like hormonal. But it's really just that I'm passionate. I'm passionate about us because there was only one Martin Luther King. Even though people marched with him, there was only one. There was only one Rosa Parks. There were only one 
you know, Malcolm X and all these other historical figures in the black community that really stood on civil rights that really fought for us. Because although there was a handful of people that did the fighting, so many more people benefited from it. OK, so I don't mind being that person for us. I don't mind being a part of this generation's civil rights movement. I don't mind being a activist and a millennial. OK, because our work is not done. Our work is far from being over. Um, and I just really hope that this opened up the mind of somebody of somebody. I hope that this inspires somebody to be somebody. I hope that this inspires somebody to stand for something, okay? And mean it and be passionate about it. Something other than money. Yes, we want we want to make the money. Yes, we want to keep the money in our community, but we also have to have community, okay? Camaraderie. We have to have support, okay? Um this might go over a lot of y'all head. Some of y'all might not be intellects like that. So it ain't really, you know, hitting that point or getting that light bulb to go off. But if it reached one person and and I inspire one person to be better and really look out for their community, I feel like I did my job. OK, because this is each one teach one. And so if I taught one person from this video, if I inspired one person from this video, I am thankful and I am grateful, okay? All right, so with that being said, support your local community, support black owned businesses, support black communities, support your people. Because if we don't have us, who gonna have us? The people that had us in bondage chains, the people who told us you can't sit here, the people who told us your bathroom is two miles down the road, the people that took our history, wiped it out and said, oh, you can't read or write because we want you to learn our stuff. Not only that, but if you learn to read and write, then maybe you might be able to figure something out. Maybe you might be able to get out of these, th these chains that we got you in. And we might not have on physical chains right now, but we are definitely still in bondage. Okay. So with that being said, free yourself, eat, keep being hungry. All right. This is your girl Coco K and I am out.